Hi and welcome back to the Cars and Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you how we made £600 in two days flipping a 2008 Mini Cooper S. This Cooper S was one of many cars I saved while scrolling through the BCA mobile app. A full breakdown of the video of how to use the app is in the comments below. All vehicles at BCA are HPR clear unless otherwise stated. However, should you want to conduct a quick check yourself, then check out another video of mine in the comments below. So moving on, I put a maximum bid on the Mini Cooper S of £1,800 and it went bang on the hammer and that exact amount. So with auction fees, the total amount comes to £2,090.40. After sending a bank transfer across for the full amount, I then arranged a connection date and booked the train the next day to Warsaw. It was absolutely freezing that day, with temperatures around minus 7 degrees Celsius, so I took some de-icer, a scraper, and some screen wash, just as a precaution. By the time I arrived, the sun was out, and it started to get slightly warmer, so just minus 2 degrees Celsius. A chilly 20 minute walk from the train station, and I was soon there. The BCA Warsaw branch is one of the easiest places to check into actually. Um, you literally scan your QR code on a machine and a box opens up with your key inside. Once I found the Mini in its designated area, it was completely frozen over. So before firing it up, I quickly checked all the fluids to make sure there was enough oil, coolant, etc. And then I fired it up as soon as I was happy with it. I left it running for a while just so I can defrost the car and check the bodywork condition but as it was fairly dirty it was really hard to tell so I just jumped in, started it, 50 mile journey from Warsaw to Gloucestershire. Once I arrived home I gave it a quick wash just to check the bodywork condition and to be fair it was very clean, I was really impressed. So soon after I went to my usual spot to take pictures. The MOT only had a few weeks left so I booked it in with my trusty local garage as we had a cancellation that same day. Um, so the MOT initially failed actually on two front tyres so I drove around the corner to my local tyre shop, in this case ski tyres, and luckily they, they had some suitable ones in stock. The retest was done the next day so I put it up for sale immediately. Um, I forgot to mention I also had it serviced the same day as, as the retest too, as it hadn't been serviced for, for 20,000 miles. Within a couple of hours of posting it for sale on Facebook Marketplace, I was already arranging viewings for the next day. A local couple came and viewed it, and they fell in love with it straight away, so they made me an offer. I had it advertised at £3,250, but due to the, the boot not opening by the button, only by the key, they were only prepared to pay £3,000. I know £250 is a lot to take off for what might be an easy fix, but it was a quick £560 profit for very little work. So let's go through the figures. I bought the car from BCA for £2,090.40 with fees. I paid £12 for a train ticket to Warsaw. I put £25 worth of premium E5 petrol in. Service and MOT was £155 and two front tyres was £156, totaling £2,438.40, making £561.60 profit. Not bad for a couple of days work, if you can call it that. So let's give a total breakdown of the hours put into it as well. So it's a three hour round trip to Warsaw. Two hours getting an MOT to service and new tyres, and two hours washing and taking pictures. So we're giving that a grand total of seven hours. So to calculate, £561.60 profit divided by seven hours is £80.22 per hour. Again, which isn't bad at all really. I haven't included the time it takes making this video, as I don't include that in the process, as not everyone is stupid enough to waste so much time as me doing this. So that concludes another full process sales video. The profit isn't as much as the others, however the turnaround was a lot quicker. I'll add this video to a playlist, so feel free to check out the other videos and let me know in the comments what you would like to do differently, or if there's anything else you think I should highlight. In the meantime, if I don't post another video soon, have a great Christmas and I'll see you guys in the new year.